The Technology Wizard is an algorithm for producing on-the-fly cutting conditions for the current iMachining operation. The Technology Wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box is made up of four sections, step-down, machining level, output cutting data, and the dynamic 3D preview window. The step-down section consists of input options and the output grid. The output grid has three columns, number of steps, step-down, and ACPs. Rows are created for each step-down value that is not the same. In the step-down section, there are two radio buttons for selecting the way the wizard calculates the depths, automatic and user-defined. The step-down by default is set to automatic. Automatic will provide step-downs based on the tool information and pocket depth defined for the operation. Because the pocket depth is 30 millimeters, Automatic generated two steps at a 15 mm step down with an ACP value of 2. Now, change the radio button setting to user defined under step down. The user defined drop down menu appears and enables you to manually choose the method used for calculating step down. The options are either by the number of steps or the step down value. If the drop down is set to number of steps, the total depth will be divided up by the number of steps. Enter 4 in the input field text box. Save and calculate, and then simulate the results. Click the Save and Calculate button to calculate the iMachining toolpath, and then click Simulate. In the Simulation Control Panel, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath on the model. The iMachining toolpath makes 4 steps at a 7.5mm step down to achieve the 30mm total depth. Exit the Simulation Control Panel and return to the Technology Wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. Next, select Step Down from the drop-down menu. The value in the input field text box will be used for the depth of each step down until the total depth is achieved. Enter a 3 mm step down. The results are 10 steps at a 3 mm step down to achieve the 30 mm total depth. Save and Calculate, and then simulate the results. Click the Save and Calculate button to calculate the iMachining toolpath, and then click Simulate. In the Simulation Control Panel, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath on the model. The iMachining toolpath makes 10 steps at 3 mm and comes to an end. Exit the Simulation Control Panel and return to the Technology Wizard page of the iMachining Operation dialog box. When the drop-down is set to step-down, it is possible to enter a step-down value deeper than the cutting length of the tool. Recall the cutting length is 24 mm. Enter a step-down of 30 mm, the full pocket depth. Click Save and Calculate to calculate the iMachining toolpath, and then click Simulate to see the results. After clicking the Play button, the iMachining toolpath makes only one step-down at 30 mm and comes to an end. Click the exit button to close the simulation control panel. When the drop-down is set to number of steps, it is not possible for the wizard to generate depths greater than the tool cutting length. Try to enter one step. The results are one step at 24 mm and one step at 6 mm. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click Play to show the iMachining toolpath on the model. Click the exit button to close the simulation control panel. If you want to use number of steps and would like the wizard to calculate one step down at 30 mm for example, the tool cutting length needs to be equal to or greater than the desired step down value. Set the radio button back to automatic so the wizard automatically calculates the step down values for the iMachining operation. The machining level section consists of a slider that enables you to select from calculated sets of cutting conditions. As you can see, the slider is made up of eight levels. Each level represents more material removal rate and higher aggressiveness. The output cutting data section displays two sets of data related to the current cutting condition. View 1 shows spindle speed, feed rate, step over max, and step over min. View 2 shows cutting speed, chip thickness, cutting angle max, and cutting angle min. The output cutting data should be monitored while using the machining level slider to choose a set of cutting conditions. 
There are many factors in machining that can make one set of cutting conditions better than another. Some of these factors include fixture stability, cutting tool quality and stability, and or risks associated with the forces from higher material removal rates. The machining level slider provides you with an adjustment for all these factors. The 3D preview window shows a 3D representation of the selected cutting conditions. The 3D view shows tool diameter, tool length, tool cutting length, step down, step over, and aggressiveness. The tool is shown in two colors, yellow for the cutting length and gray for the remaining length of the tool. If there are multiple steps with different depths, the largest step down from the output grid will be used. This is because it is typically the most aggressive step down and should be monitored. Step over is represented by the red section in front of the tool. As the machining level slider is used to select the desired cutting conditions, the 3D preview window updates. Levels 1 through 5 contain different step over values, and the remaining levels have a consistent step over. The aggressiveness is represented by the chips behind the tool. The 3D chips change color, quantity, and size to show that moving up in machining levels produces more, thicker chips with greater heat. The 3D preview window also shows how the chip should be evacuating the cutting area under good conditions when actually machining the part. Return the machining level slider to 5 for the operation, and once again click the Save and Calculate button. This will calculate the original iMachining toolpath based on the wizard using automatic to generate two steps at a 15mm step down with an ACP value of 2 to achieve the 30mm total depth. At this stage, step 3 is complete. Click the exit button to close the iMachining operation dialog box. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to define the rough machining of the outside contour and use the technology wizard.